What's up guys? Welcome to How Much YouTube channel. Today we're going to review the Avalon Mini 3. It's a Bitcoin miner for your house and you can run it at 110 and 220 and it's pretty big for a Mini but we're going to see what's inside. It's replacing the R4. It's the Antminer R4 it was a very old miner that was designed to be quiet so you can run it in your house and still get a decent hash rate. This is the replacement for this, I believe. We're gonna give it a try, set it up, see how much it mines. So that's the back of the unit. This is the front of the unit. I mean, it weights like, I don't know, 15, 20 pounds, something like that. It looks pretty nice. All right. So basically a heater for your house that also mine Bitcoin, okay? Now let's see how to plug this into power. Okay, I turned it on. Now let's see how it works. Oh, it says hi over here, check it out. It has a little screen. All right guys, so I'm gonna plug in the little Wi-Fi USB right here, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. It's very simple. I'm just gonna click again, that's the Wi-Fi. It beeps because it's on the side. That's pretty smart for a heater, you know, to be safe. So that's good. Here you go. So Bluetooth is now on, Wi-Fi is on. Now I can set the Avalon Mini 3. So I think I can add it directly from my Avalon app. Let's see if I can add one. New device. We have the Mini 3. See right here. So yeah, you just download the Avalon app, the Avalon family app. So we have the, the Mini 3 right here. I click that. Let's click on search. Here you go. I see it. Connect. All right, I'm connected. Now I'm gonna set up Wi-Fi over here. So I'm gonna choose from um, I'm gonna choose from the list of Wi-Fi. It supports only 2G, so make sure you support that, and then put your password in. So now it's all set up and ready for me. Let's do the pool. So I'm gonna go to settings and set up my pool. So then I get paid for the Bitcoin, or I can also run it as a solo miner. I believe this is good for solo mining. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set up CK pool right here. When I'm done, I'll let you know. So I'm setting up my pool. I chose CK pool. I'm running solo. You can also mine uh, like small fraction of Bitcoin every day. I'm not really interested in that. I put my Bitcoin address and they always require a required password here. So I just put X as the password. I hit save. And the one is uh, number two as well. So this is like a backup. You put number one and number two. So it asked me to restart once I change the pool information. So it's also show me the time here, which is kind of nice. It shows me the IP address. Maybe it will show me the Bitcoin price here. I don't know. There's a little screen. And now we're waiting for the hash rate to go up. Yeah, so here it is. I see it here. So we have heater, mining, night. There's different options here. There's an eco, there's a super, the display can show stuff. I could do custom even for the for the display. Here it is. Uh, you can barely see the Bitcoin merch logo, but uh, that's kind of fun. Just the B. You can put a little something in there. You can also put time. All kind of different setup. It's kind of cool. Eh, a little screen. So we are starting to mine already. I feel the heat. I don't see the hash rate yet, so we're gonna wait for the hash rate. We go. We got some hash rate. Now it's pretty quiet, honestly. It's just as loud as any other heater I can think of. And it's on mining mode. They have also a heater mode. It's kind of cool. Yeah. This is the R4. This is what the Mini 3 is replacing. This is from Bitmain years ago. I made a video, that was my, one of my first videos ever, mining Bitcoin. This one only does like eight terahash. So our miner is working. It's advertised at 37 terahash, but I'm getting 41. 
that's pretty nice. And we have an option here as a heater for mining, night, eco, super. You can put a timer to turn it on at night if you want it to mine only at night. And it's really nice hot air comes out and it's very, very quiet. All right, so yeah, you can make a little bit of money every day running this. I don't think that's really worth it. It takes about 800 watts if you want to mine just a little bit. But if you're mining solo, you have a big, you have a chance of hitting a block. You have some chance of hitting three Bitcoins. So that's what how I'll we'll run it. This is how I will run it as a solo Bitcoin miner. And I'll try to hit a block while warming myself in the room in the winter. If you like the video, leave a like and consider subscribing to this channel to see the latest technology, Bitcoin miners. And thank you so much for watching. Leave in the comments below what do you think about the Avalon Nano, about the Avalon Mini 3. If you want to grab one, go to BitcoinMerch.com and grab yours today. See you guys next time. Peace.